morning, everybody. This is Dennis. Um, welcome to this Q&A forum. Uh, I got a couple interesting questions that uh, I'm going to be able to address, I hope. Um, Michael, thanks. This might be a stupid question, but I wonder what you do if you are playing a G chord. Do you pick strings one and six together, then follow the same pattern for the rest? Um, and then I get this question from David Tucker. Dennis, this question has been asked of you many times, but though you've replied, you've never supplied an answer. In this video, and I wish I knew which one, I just grabbed a screenshot of this question. Uh, in this video, you show picking patterns, mostly for five string chords and briefly for a four string chord, but you never show a diagram for the six string chords like G or E or E-shaped bar chords. Can you? So, uh, I have the perfect diagram. My wife uh, made these diagrams. So we're going to try to explain this to David and to Michael. And then Mark Brown replied also. I was also wondering the same thing. I'd love to hear Dennis's answer. So here we go. Let's explain this. On my YouTube channel, I teach a Travis style finger picking pattern that always falls under a category of a four string pattern or a five string pattern or a six string pattern. The thing you need to observe is that the only thing that changes on the four or five or six string pattern occurs on downbeat one during that pinch that you see in green on my diagrams. Um, that you have to include the bass note of the chord. And uh, so that pinch gets you started before you start the rolling of the four strings that the pattern is based on. I'm going to play the chorus to the song Sam Stone here, which has six chords in it. Observe that uh, they're either a four string or a five string or a six string pattern. And then we'll talk about um, how to illustrate that for you with these diagrams. There's a hole in daddy's arm Where all the money goes Jesus Christ Died for nothing, I suppose Little pitchers have big ears Don't stop to count the years Sweet songs never last too long on Broken radios mm -hmm. Let's talk about what it is exactly that differentiates a four string pattern from a five or six string pattern. Now the Travis style finger picking pattern that I teach on my channel is based on the four high strings, the four thinnest strings. Here in this top illustration we've got a D chord and that, that open D string, the third string, is the bass note. You have to include that with the pinch in the beginning in green. Now in the middle illustration, like for C, major or A minor chord, you have to include that fifth string on downbeat one with the pinch. And then the pattern is the same as it was for the four string pattern. And then for a um, E major or E minor chord or a G chord or a barred F chord, you have to include that sixth string with the first string on that pinch to start it off on. And then the, same, the pattern is the same. Now I feel if you're a beginner to learning this Travis style finger picking pattern that you attempt it on a four string pattern like this open D chord where the third string, the D string, is the bass note. You have to pluck that with the first string on the first downbeat to include that bass note. And then the pattern is based on those four high strings or thinnest. Start out slow, make the pinch, including the bass note and the high E string on downbeat one, and then proceed with the internal rolling of those four high strings that this pattern is based on. Whether it's a four, five, or six string pattern, you have to start it off with that downbeat one, where you include the bass note with the thumb and the high E string with the middle finger, and then you proceed with the rest of the pattern, whether it's four, five, or six string pattern.
For the five string pattern, you start out by plucking the bass note with the thumb and the high E string with the middle finger on the pinch and then do the internal rolling of those four um, high strings, the thinnest strings, starting uh, on the red with the thumb and index finger on the inside pair and then the thumb and the middle finger on the outside pair and then complete it with that thumb on the G string. That's how every bar ends. Now remember on a six string finger picking pattern, for example on a G major chord or an E major or E minor or a barred F chord, you must strike that six string with the first string at the same time on downbeat one that pinch. You must include that bass note on the sixth string for any one of those chords. Now for the six string pattern, you have to strike that sixth string with the thumb and the high E string with the middle finger on the first downbeat so that you include that bass note that's on downbeat one and then you proceed with the rest of the pattern based around those four high strings as are the four and five string patterns. So, so pinch in green followed by the rolling of the uh, four high strings, thumb index on the inside pair, thumb middle on the outside pair, and then the measure is completed with that thumb on the G string for every measure, whether it's a four, five, or six string pattern. So David, I hope this answers your questions about when to use a four string, five string, or six string Travis style finger picking pattern. It all depends on the chord. If it's an A minor, it's a five string chord. If it's a D, and you're just playing it on those four high strings, the D, G, B, and E strings, then it's a four string pattern. If you're playing a, a barred F chord or an E minor or an E major, that's a six string pattern. So until next time, I'm actually going to um, do this once in a while, take some questions that you guys have proposed to me and uh, try to answer them for you. So I hope this helps in uh, this being the maiden voyage here for this little question and answer period. Until next time, peace out, have fun, stay safe. We're almost through this pandemic. See you later.